Hello, how are you doing? So uh, today I would like to share on how to build a macro file in Minitab 19. So micro file is very very useful, especially when you want to automate a repetitive task. Okay, for example, in this case, I have a set of data. Okay, up until 31st May, and uh, if I were instructed okay to proceed with graphical summary, box plot, multiple regression, individual chart, for example. Okay, whenever I updating okay, this set of data, so it will be very useful at that particular time for me to use the macro. Okay, so how can we uh, build a, a macro file in Minitab 19? Okay, so to build a macro file, first and foremost, you need to go to view and you need to click on this command line slash history. Okay, at this moment, there is nothing here because we have not done any analysis. All right, okay. And as a preparation, okay, you need also to open up a blank not notepad file. All right, okay. So this is the preparation. So for example, if I want to have graphical summary together with box plot, multiple question, and individual chart in one macro file by using this existing data. So first, what I need to do is I need to go to stat. Okay, I need to perform the graphical summary manually first. All right. For example, I select this recovery variable, click OK. Then you have the result of graphical summary, and you have the history. This is actually the command line, okay, for the graphical summary. And second, for example, you want to add in box plot here, okay. I use one Y with group, okay. All these uh, variables already selected. I click OK. You have box plot and also the correspond comment line okay and for example the third one I would like to add in regression analysis by using all these variables I just click OK and then you have the output of regression and also all those comment line uh, reflecting the regression result and let's say lastly I want to add in individual plot okay uh, individual chart here by using log total for example okay, I click OK then I get something like this. So I would like to repeat all these four tools okay, when I add in new data. All right. So to make ease of the future operation, so this is where I need to create a macro file. So how to create a micro file? Okay, first, you need to select all in this history box. Right click once again, and then you need to copy everything and put it in a notepad. Okay, then you need to save first this notepad. Okay, just select your destination folder and save as type on file. So maybe you can give uh, whatever name that you want. Let's say test.kmtb. Right, so I save it first. All right, so then I close this notepad file. Okay, let's say I have a new data set. Okay, so I just uh, copy from 1st June to 12th June and I paste it here all right so definitely I need to update this result and also I need to redo once again the regression so to save time this is when I will call back the previous uh, macro file okay the number of time to execute depends if you want to execute twice we mean to say you want to have a uh, two times of uh, the analytics outcome so you can select twice so in this case I just want to proceed as one so I just select the file okay go to the folder that I save my macro file okay the folder is basically here okay research uh, let's say candidates all right so when I double when I double click this as you can see you have another set of the uh, summary report box plot regression I chart by using the latest data set so this is how macro is very very useful in automate a repetitive task so I hope uh, this sharing will benefit you so thank you for watching